This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Sunday, the 13th of August. I'm Michael Graff. Yesterday in the valley, a high of 103 degrees. And despite the fact that the winds aloft turned more toward the west, we had a weak Pacific short wave come through, giving us kind of a transitional event in the form of numerous showers and thunderstorms that developed last evening and continued overnight. Some of those storms still ongoing. Flash flood warnings were issued by the National Weather Service, and those continue as well. So what does the rest of Sunday look like and how about that transition toward drier weather? Well, we'll talk about it right now as we look outside this morning at 6.15 a.m. Mostly cloudy skies in the valley right now. Check this out. 75 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 72. Relative humidity 90 percent. The winds are from the south-southeast at 14 and the barometer is rising. Temperatures across the area this morning, hey, most of us are in the 70s at this hour thanks to a lot of rainfall overnight with some spots seeing up to 2 inches of rain here where i do these videos from in arcadia we had about four tenths of an inch so far satellite shows the clouds in association with that short wave that came through here last night and still some scattered showers and storms continue right now this is the radar as of 6 12 a.m the heaviest rain from around uh, well just south of wickenburg to morristown sun city surprise deer valley glendale north phoenix fountain hills scottsdale and another batch of rain down there towards central Pinal County. Here's the watch warning map. And again, those flash flood warnings continue until 8.45 a.m. for the Phoenix metro area with more rain expected. Elsewhere, the fire danger continues across uh, parts of the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. Heat advisories for the Houston area. Flash flood watches continue in parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. And off the East Coast, well, that's tropical advisories in association with this. This is Tropical Depression 8. It is expected to form into a tropical storm. When it does, it will get the unfortunate name of GERT. But GERT is expected to head out to sea and not really affect anybody. All right, here's the convective outlook for today. We've got a slight risk of severe storms from around Amarillo up toward Dodge City. Grand Island, Nebraska, and Sioux Falls, South Dakota, marginal risk for some of the adjacent states. Another marginal risk zone from the Arklatex east toward western Mississippi. All right, as far as our weather, let's delve into the details. And we'll look at the models right now, see what they have to say. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. And this looks like benign weather for us, doesn't it? Westerly flow, high pressure push to the south, but we have plenty of surface moisture around today. And the sun is expected to break out. There could be another little subtle Pacific weather disturbance that moves through the westerlies. And as a result, not going to rule out at least a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon and this evening. We'll have to contend with the morning showers and storms, but those will be out of here by around 9 or 10 o'clock. Still, we'll deal with plenty of flash flooding around the metro area, though. Otherwise, today should be partly cloudy, humid, with highs in the upper 90s to around 102. Tonight, that slight chance of an evening shower or storm, and anybody could see some heavy rain. Just because this, the chance of rain is pretty small doesn't mean that the amount of rain that you receive will be small as well. You know how the monsoon works. Isolated storms can put down very heavy rain very quickly. Otherwise, that's only about a 20% chance that that will occur tonight. And then we'll have partly cloudy skies with lows in the upper 70s to mid-80s. Tomorrow, drier air starts to come in. The humidity levels come down. Chances of rain are out of here. Highs only around 100 to 104 as troughing continues to dominate the West, but most of that energy stays north of Arizona. Tuesday, I think we start out the day in the 70s for the most part, except maybe in the urban core, lower 80s. Highs only about 100 to 104. Same thing on Wednesday. Lows in the lower 70s in the coolest valley locations, near 80 in the urban core. Highs 101 to 104. Same on Thursday. Pretty deep troughing north of the state. Then here is Friday, and that just continues with temperatures at or below normal levels. The GFS Ensemble keeps us right around 100 degrees for much of this week. Saturday, same thing, dry weather, low humidity, maybe a few showers and thunderstorms back in northwest Mexico and trying very hard to creep into southeast Arizona. But I just think we're going to stay dry here in the valley. The humidity levels may start to come up next Saturday, but... Boy, it just does not look very promising at this point, and high temperatures are still going to struggle to make it to near normal, only in about the 101 to 105 range. And as we go out to a week from today, this is Sunday, the 20th of August, high pressure over the southern plains, some semblance of southerly or southwesterly flow, but it just does not look like significant moisture is going to be able to push its way in here. Isolated showers and thunderstorms 
possible over the eastern part of Arizona, though. Here's Monday, the 21st of August, the day of the solar eclipse. And still looking like southerly flow, uh, the GFS, this run paints a few isolated showers and thunderstorms over southern Arizona. But I just kind of tend to think not at this point. It just doesn't look like a, a very favorable flow for the monsoon. Nonetheless, uh, this shows some clouds here, but I think we're still going to have pretty good weather to view the solar eclipse, especially in the early or the late morning and early afternoon hours. Doesn't look too bad. Let's go out to the end of the forecast period. This is Tuesday, the 22nd of August. Again, high pressure over the southern plains. Some type of southerly to south-southwesterly flow. Some moisture may come in, and there could be some interaction as well with Pacific shortwave energy. But it doesn't look all that promising for any significant precipitation. Just a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, maybe slightly higher humidity. That's about all we can hope for at this point. The other elephant in the room, of course, a rogue phantom tropical system. The GFS loves to put these on here. You know this by now. You watch our videos enough. You follow the model data enough. You know this. However, it has been showing this in one form or another fairly consistently over the last few runs. This time, this is 2 a.m. August the 23rd, out here at 240 hours. It's got the, this tropical system east of Fort Pierce, Florida. That looks like a hurricane to me. However, let's look at some of the other models. Here's the European, same time, 2 a.m. August the 23rd. It's got a tropical low, a weak tropical low, southeast of Miami. So that's kind of interesting. And then here's the gem. This is the Canadian model. That's a hurricane somewhere just east of Miami. Interestingly enough, we're coming up on the 25th anniversary of Hurricane Andrew. It's hard to believe it's been 25 years, but there it is. So right now there is some model consistency, but this is way out here toward 10 days. This is the land of make-believe. So a lot can and very likely will change between now and then. Just something to keep your eye on, that's for sure. But just nothing more than speculation at this point. All right, let's look at temperatures through the period. Coming off of the GFS Ensemble, highs at or below normal for the next five days. And the air mass gets drier to, to go along with it. So those overnight lows are going to feel a little bit more comfortable with lower humidity as well. Indications of maybe a warm-up way out toward the end of the month, but wouldn't count on that either. The good news is no significant heat waves anytime soon. And that'll wrap it up for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video comes back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to us so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Otherwise, uh, be safe. A lot of flooded roadways out there this morning. Have yourselves a great Sunday.